the 19th century, Gregor Mendel did a great work regarding genetic inheritance. However, it was not until the beginning of the 20th century when his work began to have an impact in the scientific community. Mendel published in an obscure Moravian journal and sent copies of his work to some intellectuals of the time. As a result, his work went largely ignored, and this was not only counterproductive for Mendel's career, but for the humankind. And Mendel is just one example of many scientists whose work had been ignored because they have failed to communicate the results. On the other side of the coin, there are positive examples like Dr. John Gottman, who developed these fascinating methods of discovering the chances of success of romantic relationships between two people. But Dr. Gottman didn't stop there. He began to promote the results of his work through books, DVDs, and the foundation of a nonprofit institution together with his wife. Through this work, they have been able to influence more marriages than they would have been able to do in their own clinic. For this reason, it makes sense to have a framework on how to communicate the results of the analysis we have conducted. Let me summarize this for you in very six very simple steps. First and foremost, you must describe and communicate the nature of the problem you're trying to solve. Secondly, you need to specify how are you going to measure the business impact of a solution for this problem. Thirdly, communicate what and how much data is available to find a solution for this problem. Fourth, formulate the initial solution hypothesis. Number five, find or show what was the solution. And finally, what was the business impact of this solution? Notice that was not included in this framework are the analytical details involved in finding the solution. It is okay to communicate these technicalities in an appendix of the report, but don't let this get in the middle of a good story.